Hi there guys and welcome to this Plunker 88 production. I'm your host Gareth Archer coming at you with a package opening that as you can probably see has already been opened. Before I go any further you're going to have to bear with me in this video. It is stifling hot right now as I record this. Yes I do have a cup of lemonade that's half full. No I didn't half fill that. I gulped down half of that before starting this video. This is the fifth time I've tried to start this video and just sat here dripping with sweat. Probably TMI, but on all, but at the end of the day, sometimes let you know what goes on behind the scenes is, is all part of it. So this packaging, this packaging, this package has been sat in my room for nearly two months now. The funny thing is, although it's opened, I have not actually taken anything out of this box. Everything that's in this box has, and this, everything that's in this box has stayed in this box for the last two months. So I don't even know the condition of what's in there and whether they're actually complete or not, which is going to be funny when I might need to fire off a message to the seller and go, hang on a minute, this isn't complete, which is kind of interesting. Anyway. Without further ado, let's get into this packaging. I don't need that because it's already open. So on top we have a bunch of packing peanuts. And then inside we have Buffy season seven. We've got in the wrong way around, Buffy season three. I'm just gonna put that the right way around. That is part of my limited OCD coming out there. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see. Put the screen a bit nearer so I can see it. Next we have Buffy Season 4. There we go. Next we have, getting into this nice packaging, we've got Buffy Season 2. Rooting around again. We have, I know this one, this is Buffy season one. There we go. Hopefully you saw that. Next up, we have Buffy season six. And then we have Buffy, excuse me, season five. There we go. So I'll put this out of the way for now. And I'll dispatch with those packing peanuts very shortly. So as you can probably tell, this is seasons one to seven of Buffy, but not only is it seasons one to seven of Buffy, it is all of the collector's packaging or the Bible packaging as it's otherwise known as. Now this is actually a repurchase because I used to have all of these in their Bible packaging, but in the purge of 2016, of January 2016, I of course sold this. I actually got quite a nice price um, for each of the Bible packagings because I sold my collection to CEX. And when I sold my collection to CEX, all the prices they had online were based upon the just generic plastic Amray case versions of these sets. So when I brought them in, luckily the person who was actually dealing with me, serving me, knew that these were, you know, collector's um, items, so to speak, and did give me a fair price on all of it. So sometimes, depending on who you get in CEX, you get a better deal. So I'm going to put these into order. And that's season one, put that over there now. So season two, season three, four, five, six, and a seven. So there we go. In fact, I think they're supposed to go around the opposite way. So if we just simply go, boosh. We can have them around the other way. Although that's supposed to go around that way. That's annoying. <laughs> so that one opens that way, yet these open that way because the barcode, that's normally on the back. That's a bit strange to be completely honest. Anyway, if you've never seen the Bible packagings slash the collector's edition packaging for Buffy. So first up we have season one. I'm just gonna bring you in oh, a little tighter. So we take it out of this packaging. You do have an episode guide, which is also, I think this is a little more than just an episode guide. There's some quotes and pop culture references in there. So 
there we go, but the first season of Buffy. And the actual packaging itself is a crucifix. Hopefully you can, I can get the whole thing on camera if I zoom out. You can see down here, there's a tail there. It's a whole crucifix. It's a bit difficult to get the whole thing in shot because it's quite a quite a big thing, but it's a crucifix. And as I'm sure you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was about, all about vampires and the such. So having the crucifix is iconic to the show. Now I'm not going to necessarily well, I do need to check them out, go through each of these packagings. But if you've never seen the Bible packaging for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, here we go. This is what they look like. This is season two. So you take it out like so. Um, I'm trying to think. This is embossed or indented, whichever way you want to say that. And all this is embossed and indented, so it feels rather nice and the actual packaging itself by the way some people do get a little bit anxious about this when you open these up and you do that with it you're going to hear a spine crack now a spine crack is actually meant to happen when you've got a hardback book which is this basically is a hardback book and you open up for the first time it will crack the spine and away you go now do be careful with these though, because if you open it up from here, you just heard a slight spine crack there. If I was to open this too far here, I would not only crack the spine, if I actually can show you here, not only would I crack the spine, but I would actually damage this set quite badly. So don't do that guys. However, when you do first open it, there is going to be a spine crack. Don't be too shocked by that. So we're gonna go through. So you've got a episode guide. You've got a little mini book in here, if you will. And then you do have each of the discs inside this media book or digi book, if you prefer. And each of the discs behind the discs also have a bit of fabric there. So the idea is that when you put the silver side facing inwards, it's not going to damage the readable area of your DVD. And in fact, if you go right to the end, was at the beginning <laughs> on the beginning it does have a little diagram to show you how this is supposed to go but uh, i'm not finding it right now hmm. interesting <laughs> i'm not finding it right now but anyway there is a little diagram in there that does sort of tell you which way you're supposed to put the discs anyway that's buffy season two so all the Bible packagings are the same. I may just look a, have a quick flick through to make sure all the discs are in there and all that kind of stuff. Yep, all the discs are in there. You can actually hear quite a few. There we go, on the back there, it shows you which way you're supposed to put the discs and whatnot. So you can definitely tell whoever had this set before I had it. I don't actually know because I got this from the Oxfam eBay page. So somebody else had it even before Oxfam. But you can definitely tell whoever had this set watched the first three seasons a lot more than they did the latter seasons. So here we go. I'm just going to uh, check all the discs are in here. Live on camera. Yep. Yeah. Looks like I'm good. Season five. Once again, just going to check I've got all the discs. Yep, seems good. I mean, this is a little bit behind the scenes of what I do when I get a set anyway, um, when it hasn't been set in my room for two months waiting for an unboxing. Anyway, so series six. The return of Buffy when it changed to studios. Again, I'm just gonna double check I've got all the discs. Yep, looks like it. And last but by no means least, season seven, although this is actually quite loose in its cover. And here we are with good old season seven.
cool there we go so that is Buffy seasons one to seven now you can't have Buffy without another little show so as a bit of a bonus update for you guys I have here also in their Bible packagings Angel seasons one to five so let's put these into some kind of order we have Angel season one we have Angel season two season three four and a five so this is half a repurchase half a new acquisition so i used to have a complete series box set of angel but it wasn't the bible packaging it was just a complete set that i got from ross records a store um local to me for 60 quid at the time which is actually a good price for it i've always wanted to have both sets in their bible packagings ever since i knew of the bible packagings however anybody will tell you the angel bible packagings are actually quite hard and rare to find i was lucky i managed to get the first three from one particular seller and the other two from another particular seller and thus i have all five now yes you can see season five has got a bit of damage on it but at the end of the day season five is actually the hardest to find so i'm not going to get too het up by the damage once again i'm just going to go through these to make sure i've got all the discs one thing i will say about these guys is just be careful about fakes because oh that's not particularly nice there are fakes around and the thing about the fakes is they are clearly fake but when you're looking at ebay pictures it's not exactly always easy to tell so just be careful guys so there we go season four again just checking oh map see that disc has been put the wrong way in in fact, I knew about that. I didn't do it on purpose when I looked at this set because I wanted to do it on camera to show you guys the right way these are supposed to go. There we go. So season three, sorry, disc three, four, five, and six. All of those are fine. Season three. So while I'm going through these, I much prefer Angel, I have to say. I think Angel is delightfully dark in places, and uh, there are some really, really good episodes. Plus the fact that, you know, with all due respect, Angel is a vampire, and there you go, another one that's been put the wrong way back. Um, Angel is a vampire, and therefore packs a bit more of a punch than maybe Buffy, although she does have superhuman strength. Um, you know... I don't know. I just, I just think liked Angel a lot more. It's very dark in a lot of places. Um, I mean, the first season is actually one of the darkest seasons of the whole lot, so it sets off with a bit of a banger. This is quite a nice, vibrant set. I bet all of these discs are going to be in the wrong way. Yes, they are. So all of season two is in the wrong way, which means. This was actually once in a shop shop, as in like CX or a pawn shop, because that's what they do. They put the disc in silver side up. So when they open up the case to sell it to somebody, they can look at the disc quickly and give, you know, a visual evaluation about it. Oh, these are all, by the way, embossed and just as nice as, as Buffy. These, however, are all the right way as it happens which is funny since i got the first three from the same seller also of note and i do like to note this sometimes there's a course season one is an 18 or the rest of the 15s so and season one is actually a very very good season so that has been an update of both buffy seasons one to seven in their collector's edition packaging or bible packaging and of course angel seasons one to five so that is 12 seasons of Angel slash Buffy goodness. Oh. Mm. 
that was a nice wig. If you could, for me guys, leave a like or a dislike on this video, depending on your feelings. If your feelings are more complicated, then please pop a comment down to the comment section down below. As I do like to say, YouTube is a social media platform. Let's make it social. Let's take it back from the trolls. And if you haven't already, you can stick around by pressing the subscribe button. It's big, red and free. You can stay up to date with what I do by pressing the bell icon. That will enable you to receive a notification to your device of choice every time I upload a video. And as always, guys, you have been a very patient and supportive audience. And until next time, please take care. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.